Hey guys, it's Mandy here, or Jigglypoof as a lot of you might know me as. Um, I'm just here today to talk about the controversy that's going on at the moment, in case you haven't heard about it. Um, Oatly is taking a lot of criticism from their fans and from their customers because they took investment from many people, but one of the places they took investment from was Blackstone Group, which um, if anyone doesn't know who at Blackstone Group is, they are one of the largest um, investors in America and um, they have taken a lot of criticism because of their support of Donald Trump and their soy agri-business that um, contributes towards the burning of the Amazon rainforest and they've also evicted some people from housing um, that they have investment in. So they've taken a lot of criticism as a as a group, um, which is totally understandable and I completely understand the criticism and why they have received such criticism. So a lot of people have been saying on Twitter and Facebook and a lot of the vegan groups that Oatly has sold out and that um, they're going to boycott Oatly and never support Oatly again because they've sold out to capitalism and they don't care about their impact on the planet anymore, they clearly just care about their money in their pockets and all that kind of thing. So I wanted to share some thoughts with you on this um, and it's a very interesting topic and definitely a debatable topic. So I think as vegans, if, especially if you're an activist and you're wanting to make some sort of change in the world or if you just want to share your opinion with people in the world and um, on these kind of matters, I think the important thing to do is to consider what is most effective at bringing about change. That is our main goal, that should be our main goal, that should be our thing that we keep at the top of our minds every time we decide to do anything, um, because that is essentially hopefully what all of us are trying to do, is bring about change in the food sector and to help save animals at the end of the day. Or bring less animals into the world that will be tortured and killed, <laughs> essentially. So, in my opinion, um, these kinds of moves from companies where they either get investment from terrible companies like Blackstone Group, or they get bought out by the dairy industry or the meat industry, but they still continue to be plant-based in that food that they create, I think that's such a huge win for us as vegans. That is like winning the lottery because it means that we're doing enough and we are earning enough and we are making enough of an impact that other people are looking and saying, hey, wow, there's money to be invested in this. Let's invest our money. So I think it really helps because A, it brings about huge reach for us because now the marketing spend doubles, triples, quadruples, whatever, and a lot more people will hear about plant-based um, alternatives. And plus, there's more access accessibility from this point of view because the more money you invest in a product, the more it's gonna be everywhere. So from that point of view, it's definitely gonna get more reach and it's gonna be more widely available. Also, when the more people invest in plant-based companies and plant-based products, the less people are going to invest in non-plant-based companies or non-vegan companies. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if Blackstone's groups doesn't care about Blackstone Group doesn't care about um, the environment or the animals or whatever. All it matters at the end of the day is that they're investing their money into it, and that really, really helps with our cause and the effectiveness of what we're trying to do here. And if you think that we should boycott them because they don't align with our values, then I think that your values are misaligned with your actions because at the end of the day, you're slowing down the growth of veganism, you're slowing down the saving of animals because you feel that it doesn't align well with you as a person, which just seems a little bit selfish to me as a person. So I think that having that opinion and being so vocal about boycotting um, Oatly is actually slowing down our progress a lot and it's hurting the animals at the end of the day. I'm sorry, this was not supposed to be a rant, but I'm very passionate about this as you can see. <laughs> okay, 
so let's look at it from the perspective of what you guys are doing well what people that are boycotting Oatly are doing so let's think of it like this Blackstone group um, and a whole bunch of other people have just invested into Oatly right they're excited they're like oh plant based is the future let's, let's see how this plant based thing goes then all of a sudden sales drop because vegans are boycotting the company etc etc they're not going to invest money into veganism anymore they're going to pull their money out and put it elsewhere they're going to put it straight back into the meat industry they're going to put it straight back into the dairy industry so what you're doing is harming our our movement it really really is and i can't express this enough and it's simple economics really so i think that at the moment Oatly needs us more than ever because they need to prove to the non-vegan world that veganism is something worth investing in, it's something worth putting effort into, it's something worth putting money into, it's something worth getting noticed and spread and the fact that we're not having their back and we're not supporting them is very sad to me. So yeah, I have Oatly's back on this personally and I think we all should because if at the end of the day if we're looking at effectiveness and we're looking at saving more animals and if we're looking at getting more people into veganism and if we're looking at putting money into the right places in the world I, I think that this is the best move they could have done and I totally understand the idealism and I respect that you guys want to be purists and you guys want to do the best thing that feels good but at the end of the day it's not about what feels good it's about what it does Good and what it's about effectiveness of what we're doing. So yeah, before I get any more ranty, <laughs> that is all I have to say and um, I hope that it changes some of your minds or opens up a debate, a healthy and friendly and open-minded debate about um, these kinds of topics because I think they're really important to discuss and let me know what you guys think in the comments and otherwise I'll see you guys soon. Bye!